in today's video i'm gonna show you three different effects that you can use on your go high level websites to make your buttons better this is gonna help you drive conversions as it will make the button stand up and also make them more interactive more engaging for your visitors so anyways with that let's jump right into the first one which is how to make it so that a button that has squared edges when you hover over it they will become round edges i'll make it so that this button will be transparent so let me just show you very quickly how i would do that so i'll make it transparent like this and of course the text is hard to read so what i would do is click on the color right here make it so that it's blue and then at the same time for the border i want to make it so that my border will be of that same color right here now right now you see how the border is kind of round and i'm going to make it so that it's zero for now and open the custom css right here and if you haven't added any effects to your websites this will be blank in my case i have if you already have my notion doc i've added two different tutorials and those are the ones that i'm going to use today what i'm going to do now is click on this one right here 1 1.10 and i'll copy this text right here i'll go back to high level i will paste this right here and i'm going to hit save and now what i'm going to do is go to advance and then i'll give it the same name of the custom class i think mine was cool button 2 so I'll hit enter and now you see that when I hover my mouse over that button, there's that subtle effect that it makes it so the edges are round. Now let me show you a different effect and what I'll do is I'll get rid of this and now I'll add my older button that I had before right here. I'm going to make it so that there's a very interactive, very cool button that I've seen in some SaaS companies. And I'll show you how you can do this even if you don't know any code at all. I'm going to open this here again and in this case we're going to get rid of this because I'm going to add a different effect. I'll go back to the Notion doc and in this case the one that we're going to be looking at is this 1.9 how to add a hover responsive interactive gradients and this is kind of what the effect looks like. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Go back to high level right here and I'm going to paste it right here. You don't need to worry about any of the code right here but I'm just going to hit save so you see what this is and what it means. And what I need to do is go to advance again and change the custom class and for this one it is button one so i'm going to copy this right here and then click on the button again and then here in advanced paste it and now you see that when i hover my mouse over that button there's that very cool gradient that's very subtle kind of incentivizing like get started like oh go forward like take the next step so very cool very interactive you can do this not only for buttons but for entire sections so let's say for this section i kind of wanted to do the same right now the name of my custom class is button one so i'll just do this again and i'll hit enter so now you see this section and even when i hover over that section it changes color so this is not regarding specifically to buttons but it's another way that you can do these cool gradients and add them to sections and so on let me show you the third version which is one that i like a lot and i've seen in some other websites as well so again what i'll do is delete this button right here create a new button paste it here and of course i'm going to get rid of that code because i'm not going to use it right now i'm going to use a new effect let me hit save, make it so that this button will be transparent. And of course, right now, this is hard to read. So I can just make it so that my actual text is blue. And in this case, the border will also be blue with a radius of zero. So this is what that button looks like. And I'll make the border three just so it's a little bit more thick. Now I want to make it so that for this button, it will be a solid color, the one that transitions into the button. So the way that I can do this is kind of similar to the one that we did just before. And here in the doc, I also have code for that one. So what I'll do is copy this right here go back to high level open the custom css and then paste this right here go ahead and click save and for this one the custom class will be button one so i need to make sure that as always i add my custom class to my button so i'll go here to advance type my custom class i'll hit enter and now you see that when i hover my mouse over that button it kind of changes color it makes it very interactive very unique as well it's a different effect and i don't see too many go high level websites having these effects now the problem here is that this board is blue so it's kind of making like a weird thing right here what i would do is take it go to advance and then where it says border color i would make it so that it's black as well so it matches the rest of the button and the text if i wanted to make it so that the direction of this is different i can do it very quickly i'll show you live what i would do so here instead of being from one side to the other i would make it so that it's to the bottom and then i would make it so that it's bottom to top right here i'll hit save and now you see that when i hover my mouse it's a different effect now the transition is from top to bottom so just different ways that you can style your buttons if you already have my doc i've already added those three different ways that you can style your buttons and if you don't have my doc this is the resource that i use every day to build better websites for myself for my clients this is ideal if you want to take your go high level websites to the next level but you don't want to spend time learning how to code and all of that stuff anyways with that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video